Hey, welcome to Workout with Dan. Today's workout targets the chest and back. It's not a timed workout, but you'll get the most benefit if you keep a steady pace, so feel free to follow along. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start off this first round with 10 kettlebell swings. Here we go. Ready to get ready, let's go. And set it down. And I'm using two kettlebells here to do these kettlebell push-ups. And to get really deep into those push-ups. All right, we'll go ahead and do 10 of these. Really let it stretch down there. Catch a quick breath. This next part will be renegade rows. We're going to do five on each side. All right, let's come up from there. We'll get ready to do, I shall leave them up. A floor press. This is fine if you're using one, just do 10 on each side, I'm gonna do double. And there's a little trick you can use to get both up safely, because you wanna pick them up safe. So roll over, get your first one, use your other hand. To support it, and for this right hand side, roll over and kind of use your leg to help push that up. All right, you want to keep your elbows close to your body. Go ahead and squeeze all the way up. And back down. Sit them down safely there. Okay. And we'll just catch a quick breath. You don't really want to break too much in between these. More or less a superset. We'll go right into bent rows. Okay. This next exercise is going to be a squeeze press. We'll have the kettlebell resting on our chest and really pressing in and squeezing in as we press the bell up the whole way through and then again on the whole way down. You should really feel a lot of tension uh, between your pec muscles. Okay, so I'm going this way. And sit it up here and roll back with it. 
Make sure you're using a weight that you're comfortable with. So we're not actually grabbing with the handles. You don't want to be sweaty or have a loose grip. You're going to squeeze tight as you push up. Keeping those elbows close to your body. Last one, reverse fly. Really great for your back, your scapular muscles. You'll want to be sure to use a lighter weight kettlebell or even a lightweight dumbbell, somewhere between five and 20 pounds, depending on your ability. All right, so you'll come down, we'll do five on each side here. Come into the plyo push up position, or uneven push up position, and you're just going to Grip it really tight. You don't want your belt to flop around. Come up to the, an inline position and control down. Two. Two more times. Hey, welcome to Workout with Dan. Today's workout targets the chest and back. It's not a timed workout, but you'll get the most benefit if you keep a steady pace, so feel free to follow along. Let's get to it. To start off this first round with 10 kettlebell swings. Here we go. Are right, you ready? Let's go. targets the chest and back. It's not a timed workout, but you'll get the most benefit if you keep a steady pace, so feel free to follow along. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start off this first round with 10 kettlebell swings. Here we go. All right, get ready, let's go. Okay, the second round I'm going to demonstrate how you can do this routine with just one kettlebell. Still starting off with those two-handed kettlebell swings. Okay, here we go.
All right. So now, these are kind of all push-ups. We're going to do a plyo push-up. So each time we'll have one hand up, do a full push-up, and then switch the hand that's on the kettlebell. It's kind of an uneven push-up. All right. Okay, let's still do 10 total. Now let's go. And these will still do basically a renegade row, just in that uneven position. So you don't get as much a range of motion, but still effective. All right, five each side. Here we go. I guess stay in plank there. Stay in plank the whole time. Okay. It was a lot harder with two full renegade rows, so if you have two, do it that way. All right, we'll come down for a floor press now. Stabilize here. And do ten on each side. Carry the kettlebell kind of across your chest, so we're gonna hail it over to the other side. Bring it up safely over there. And ten more on this side. Okay, for the single arm bend row, you can still do it in the middle. It's usually how I prefer, but I'll demonstrate the one foot back method too. Let's do 10 on each side. press and pick it up and sit back with it. 
Remember, most of your tension should be going in toward the belt. You want to squeeze in that bell. flies. Take your light kettlebell or light dumbbell. There's a single bell variation. Take another quick break. Come back for the last round. Hey, welcome to Workout with Dan. Today's workout targets the chest and back. It's not a timed workout, but you'll get the most benefit if you keep a steady pace, so feel free to follow along. Let's get to it. All right, we're going to start off this first round with 10 kettlebell swings. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's go. Today's workout targets the chest and back. It's not a timed workout, but you'll get the most benefit if you keep a steady pace, so feel free to follow along. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start off this first round with 10 kettlebell swings. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's go. Using those two kettlebells going into kettlebell push-ups. Oh.
We're going to renegade rows. Five each side. And if you're looking for even a little more difficulty on these floor presses, you can add a hip raise through the press. And first, we're gonna get those kettlebells up there safely. This one, like I said, you end up in these that leg. Help you stabilize it so you're not using your rotator cuff. All right, hip extension. So you can really get a lot of retraction to those shoulders. And if the squeeze press isn't doing it for you either, there is a difficulty level up. I'm not quite there, but I'll show you how to do it. And your bottoms up press, both hands on there to stabilize. Whew. Really squeeze, I should have shown you this one first. I'm tired to hold it through. Do that sometimes. <laughs> I need to stick with the squeeze press for now. Okay. And bring it down. Pull it up safely. Okay. Oh, make sure I'm not getting sweaty on there. Okay, again. Really squeeze to the center. Keep your elbows in. And adjust your grip if you need to. Keep it safe. Take a breath if you need to, but don't take too long. I'm trying to keep your heart rate up. Make sure your grip is secure though. Okay, last reps of this exercise. Here we go. Five reverse flies each side.
keep that plank up. Really work your core. Good job. Hope you enjoyed that workout.